With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a point and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler point action menu. Locate the slide action. With the slide action selected, you have a series of targets down below. To start off, let's select the by brush radius target. Returning our model and simply clicking on a point and dragging will perform the slide action. Holding shift while dragging will allow you to slide the point along the surface of the actual normal. Holding alt will perform an inflate like so. In addition to those options, the by brush radius target will also allow you to slide multiple points along the surface of your model by changing your brush size. So if I come up here and adjust my draw size to something large, and now come and click on this point, any points that fall in this actual brush size here will be affected by the actual slide. So this way I can come through and slide large areas of my model along the surface of the geometry. And once again, holding Shift and Alt will produce the different effects. Turning my brush size back down again. So hovering back over a point again and pressing the spacebar to go back into the Z Modeler point action menu. We have a few more targets down here. So we have the infinite X, Y, and Z targets. And what these are going to do, they're going to look at any points that are aligned in the appropriate axis to the point that you click and allow you to slide all those points together. So if I have this set to infinite X and now go back and simply click and drag, you will notice that all the points that were aligned in the X axis from the point that I clicked on are now sliding across the surface here. If I undo that and now go back into the Z modeler point menu and say change this to infinite Y and now come back to that point and click and drag, you'll notice that all the points that were aligned in that Y axis are now being slid across the surface. So using these different infinite axes, you can end up moving multiple points across the surface of your model. Now we also have the infinite X, Y, and Z target down here. Now this target will try to automatically determine which access you will want to use to move those points based on your camera angle. Finally, we have the infinite depth target. This target will allow you to move points based on camera alignment. So if you rotate your model to a certain angle, so say all these points are lined up, and then perform the actual slide action here, you'll notice that all those points, which were based on the actual camera angle, are now slid across the surface there. So using this slide action, you can come across and start sliding points on your model to change your topology or just reorder geometry as needed.